So I woke up this morning and it was like, hello. <laughs> well, I was happy to see this blue car in the um, driveway. I'm getting used to it, actually. Uh, I don't think the colour's a big talking point for a lot of people, but just coming from silver, this was a bold move, and I'm beginning to like it. It's, um, I really like it. Uh, now, regarding the DCCD, there's a big, big, big difference in the DCCD. So if you're like, the only example I've got today, or so far, if you're turning right at a big intersection, and it's all clear, and you give it a bit, you know, where a normal car would not be able to go around and keep its line, and you give this a squeeze, the power immediately, uh, immediately shifted, like, so I turned right and the power shifted immediately to the front right wheel, immediately. I felt it very, very quick. In fact, I thought I was imagining things when I pulled off at um, near the airport uh, as I took off, off, off a bit of gravel. Um, the back wheel immediately went, Goom! like put the power down to the wheel, you know, away from the wheel that was slipping I could feel it so I thought it was just me but then when I felt it just turning right before uh nothing spectacular just accelerating but you know it's got a lot of power uh the power shifted very very quickly to the wheels that needed it so I've immediately felt a difference um uh of course we'll know in the rain even better uh and um a few people ask what what do I like better about it well, it's smoother, it's quieter and all that, but now the quietness is sort of beginning to, you know, I want my exhaust back on it, I want my sort of, I want a bit of roughness back in it, a bit more of a burble, so it is quiet, the car's quiet, not the exhaust tone, that's all the same, but as in, yeah, it's a bit quiet, it's a bit, it just feels a bit like, like a luxury car, like the ride and and all that, it, it sort of hides what the car's capable of. Like if you were to get in this car, you um, you wouldn't think it could do what it could do because it feels like it rides so well. Uh, another warning for you guys moving up from the other model, um, beware of the brakes. Like when I bought it, I didn't say, <laughs> I nearly went up the back of a car just braking normally. So the brakes are dead. They're dead again today uh, at low speeds. Um, I think they'll run in a bit, but maybe it's these Jurid pads. Um, maybe they're more, you know, need a bit of a warm-up. But, yeah, the brakes are great, but not initially. Like, you've got to watch it. Like, and um, what else was there? There was the DCCD, the dead brakes. Oh, and the clutch pickup is great. Like, they've sort of made it more defined. It's more uh, in the middle of the take-up. But the clutch, it's a lot easier to take off in. Though I said I stalled it, it's because I was used to the other one. Um, so the clutch is much lighter and the pickup has changed. It's got more of a range of pickup. Uh, in saying that though, the lighter clutch, it's I, li I like it, but I, I also like the heavy clutch uh, as well. Um, the light clutch, again, it hides what the car's capable of. It's like, oh, you know, you get in light clutch like in the Audi and you know you can't really feel anything and and that so they've softened this car up the car feels softer uh it's not but it feels it <laughs> i'm beginning to fall in love with this bloody blue i love it it's good it looks smaller the car doesn't look as ponderous as the silver one i had um am i contradicting myself did i say it looks bigger in blue before i can't remember but i'll tell you right now the darker color obviously makes the car look a bit bit smaller um bit harder to appreciate the styling and all the lines on it um but yeah anyway um off to work so there's a nice surprise today the dccd definitely doing what it's supposed to very very quickly so i just i mean i'm glad you guys um believe me and trust in me and i appreciate your comments because if you look at all these videos they've made overseas they're I'm, I'm, I'm telling you everything differently to what these people are saying. I mean, they're saying that the car's the same. They're saying that 
the DCC is the same and that the rides are the same and that the brakes are the same. No, it's a, it's a different car. But in saying that, it's less of a rough car. It's probably not for everyone. It's become refined. It's grown up. This has grown up. And I mean, it is iconic because this is going to be the last of this 12-year-old sort of dinosaur engine thing going on. And, you know, the next model is going to be so much more refined and smoother and quieter. Um... It'd be interesting to see what they do in 2020. Anyway, Bibi, we've got to work. Come on, get in the car. Get in the car. So that's that. Um, but yeah, for those guys moving up, um, I'd like to see your comments. If you can feel these things, is it just me? I mean, I don't think, so. <laughs> I don't think it's just me. But it, it's interesting because as the time goes by, I'm going to notice less. So I'm glad that I sort of made the videos right away. Because once I get used to it, how am I going to know the difference, really? Because they're quite subtle, uh, but noticeable. So the differences are quite small and noticeable. What the fuck's that? Oh, I'm not even going to look. Okay, so I hope that helps. Um, and yeah, when you've got slotted and drilled rotors, they're, they're known to not work when they're cold very well. So anyway, I'm going to let some people walk past. Okay, bye.